take the typical uh, uh, Democrat in West Haven who works for a living, and you tell them that, 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 that Schlossberg has made it possible for grown men to go into a ladies room with little girls, their daughters in West Haven, how do you think they'll react to that? Well, this is the kind of lunacy we're getting out of Hartford. Let me give you another one. There, there is a busway to nowhere. It's dubbed the Magic Bus. I don't know how many of you heard about this. It's a busway from New Britain to Hartford. This thing's been on the drawing board for years. Joe Markley discovered it. He made a big issue out of it. Thousand dollars an inch. Thousand dollars an inch to build a busway. Seven hundred million dollars. Some of it federal money, some of it state money. Thousand dollars an inch. Who is going to get out of their car and park in New Britain to hop on a bus to go to Hartford where, where, where we don't even have any jobs? It is lunacy. It's a payoff to the unions. When Joe Markley held a press conference denouncing this, some of the trades unions showed up and, and were shouting him down. And Joe said, hey, wait a minute. You guys are all professionals. Why don't we redirect this money and go fix existing bridges? There are bridges, Mike, as you know, in Milford, West Haven, Orange, and Woodbridge that are on the fix list. These are bridges in some cases that have been sitting on for a long time and they need to be fixed. Joe Markley put an amendment on the floor of the Senate that would have stopped this stupid busway and would have diverted that money into existing bridge repair. Slossburg voted against the amendment. I would find the bridge in every district, I would, in every I would own it, and I would take it to her. Because Slossburg, you know, I've gotten to know Slossburg pretty well. And, and she ran, I mean, with Mil Milford has a pretty good reputation, a bipartisan reputation of running clean campaigns. And, and Wynn is too uh, 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 humble to, to, to talk about his own uh, race with her. She ran the nastiest, dirtiest, dishonest campaign that I've ever seen run in the city of Milford. And that's who she is. Don't be deceived by that smile. And, and, and the bottom line is, she is dishonest. And let me give you an example of this. If I sound harsh, Mike, I'm intending to be harsh. I can't stand this. <laughs> oh, I need you. The, the, the fact is, she promised the people of this district that she would vote against repealing the death penalty. Three days before we were commemorating the 20th uh, sad anniversary of the murder of Danny Wasson, the only officer ever to be killed in the line of duty in Milford. In fact, they had the canine uh, contests right here at uh, uh, Wasson Field um, in honor of, of that anniversary. Three days before that anniversary, Slossburg voted to repeal the death penalty after promising the voters of this district that she would vote against doing that. Now let me tell you why she did it, and let me tell you why she's a phony. She read a, a, a statement into the record. I don't know how many of you saw this or how many of you know about it. She quoted a fictitious person. She said she met on a park bench somewhere and had some philosophical conversation with a stranger, you know, and this stranger convinced her that we should no longer have the capital punishment statute in Connecticut. And here's the truth, and the press were on to this, but they couldn't get anybody to go on the record. Her staff and some of the college interns in Hartford were bragging about this fictitious speech that her press secretary wrote for her. Folks, it is a lie. Here's the real deal. She, she, she should be brought up on ethical charges, and let me tell you why. There's a very obscure procedure known as emergency certification. Slossberg desperately wanted to bail out her husband on this uh, recycling center here in Milford. Now let me say, the people of the neighborhood are right to say that recycling center is bad for the neighborhood. They're right about that. But the fact is, they lost in, the, in a court of law. And the law is clear on this matter. They need to change the law and have a public hearing. Slossberg was given something called emergency certification. It's a very rare thing. It was given to her by a fellow named uh, Don Williams, the president of the Senate. He represents the northwest, uh, northeast corner of Connecticut. We've got a great candidate running against him, by the way. And in exchange for getting emergency certification, which benefited her husband, who was being paid big fees to fight this lawsuit that he lost, you follow me on this? She was given emergency certification to benefit her husband. And in exchange, she voted to repeal the death penalty. They wanted to get as near a unanimous vote on that as possible. I am accusing her of that, okay? And you can quote me, because that's what happened, and everybody at the Capitol knows it. So the next time that we get this philosophical speech from Slosberg that she 
talk to this guy on a bench somewhere. Show me this guy. What's his name? And by the way, her brother called me. I'm not going to get too far into that tonight today. <laughs> Steven Seagal. Not the Steven Seagal. There's Steven Seagal. He called me. He wants to come up here, and he wishes he lived in Milford so he could vote against her. Okay, that's a story for another day. Well, I, I, won't, I won't say too much about that because Mike's the candidate. He's got to decide whether or not he wants to you know, go there. But anybody that knows her well knows she's a dece deceitful, dishonest person. She doesn't deserve to be in the state senate. Not only is her voting record good enough to keep her out of the Senate, but she is a dishonest person. I'm not talking about a politician who uses puffery. I mean, even in real estate, it's right in the law. <laughs> Realtors are allowed, when doing advertising, to use what's known as puffery. Now, uh, here, of course, you've got direct waterfront views. But if you're like a, a block in land, and you say water views, and you have to go up on the roof and stand on the <laughs> chimney and make that's called puffery. It's not you're not you're not defrauding anyone. <laughs> what I'm talking about with Slossberg is not puffery. I'm talking about outright deceit. And I just think we can take it to her because she is not that smiling image that you see all over this district. She is dishonest and she is destructive in terms of her votes. The fact is we ran uh, we did a I don't know how many of you got this call. We dropped ten thousand calls into this district just before the uh, vote on the taxes. It was a tele-town uh, conference. Joe Markley and I were on the call. And it's a very interesting concept. Uh, Obama actually perfected it in 2008. You can watch how many people are on the call at any one time. And every four minutes, it's like a radio show, we reintroduce ourselves and what we're talking about. We had 469 people on that call for five minutes or longer at one time. We had thousands coming and going. And we were given out her phone number and we were encouraging people to call her. I know from staff in Hartford, she got more calls than any senator. So she did vote against the taxes, Mike, but she voted against every amendment that would <coughs> reduce taxes, repeal the taxes, cut debt, and cut spend. So, uh, so that's the bottom line. Mike's a good man. We all know that or we wouldn't be here. I'm asking you to not only embrace his candidacy, but to believe in it. Because there really is a sense of urgency. We need five more great Americans in the state Senate who are willing to put principle above all else because that's what our state desperately, desperately needs. Lots of luck here. Tom Scott, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for being here and all your support. From the bottom of my heart, I'm giving my all to this campaign and I won't stop. And when I was a detective, they called me relentless. And that's what